Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain. Hello and welcome. I'm Marshall Brain and today the big science question is how does electricity create a magnet? We've all seen one of these. This is a normal magnet. They come in all shapes and sizes. This is called a horseshoe magnet. If we take this horseshoe magnet and we put it near a little pile of staples, it'll pick them up. Now what if instead I take a screw like this and I hold it near this little pile of staples? What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, you're right. Nothing happens. Now let's say I take this screw and I take some normal wire and I wrap the wire around the screw. When I get done, it looks like this. It's just a normal screw wrapped in wire. If I hold that near the staples, nothing happens. Wrapping wire around a screw does not change it and turn it into a magnet. But now what if I do this? I take a normal battery and I connect it to the two ends of the wire that are wrapped around the screw. Like this. Look! A magnet! Let's watch that again in slow motion. Just by adding a little electricity, we turn this screw and wire into a magnet. Why does that happen? I mean, we have a normal screw, a normal piece of wire, we run electricity through it and suddenly it becomes a magnet. We can understand what's going on there if we look at a compass and a wire. Here we've got your basic compass with the needle pointing north and south. Now let's say we put a wire near that compass and let's say that we run some electricity through the wire like this. Watch what happens to the needle. As soon as we let electricity flow through the wire, the needle really responds to that electricity. So here's what's happening. If you take any piece of wire and you run electricity through it, the electricity will automatically create a magnetic field around that wire. It's kind of like a tube of magnetism that surrounds the wire. And that tube of magnetism actually affected our compass. We could see that that magnetism was changing the way the compass needle pointed. And that tells us that there's a magnetic field that's been created around this wire. Now let's say you take a wire and you wrap it around a screw or any other piece of metal. All those tubes of magnetism overlap and they line up along the length of the screw. That creates a very strong magnetic field right here in the center. We've created a magnet out of electricity. It turns out that you can do all kinds of experiments with electromagnets at home. All you need is a piece of metal like a screw and some wire. It can be thin wire like this or thicker wire with plastic insulation. It doesn't really matter. Now here's one experiment to try. Try powering your magnet with one battery. Then take two batteries and put them together and try powering it with that. Which is more powerful, one battery or two? And how much more powerful is it? count the number of staples and record it. You'll be able to see how much stronger one or two or three batteries is. You can measure how strong your electromagnet is by counting the number of staples it picks up. The more staples, the stronger the magnet. Here's another experiment. Try wrapping a hundred turns of wire around your piece of metal, then try wrapping 200 turns around it and see which of those two magnets is more powerful. You could try 300 or 400 turns as well. Or what about this? Try a screw in the center of your magnet, then try a piece of aluminum, maybe a wadded up piece of aluminum foil. Then try something that's not metal at all, maybe a piece of wood like a pencil or a piece of plastic. The point is there's all kinds of experiments and that is what science is all about, trying experiments and learning new things. Have fun performing your own science experiments. Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain.